Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And of course, this is uh, basically the top features of Windows 10 May 2020 update or version 2004 or 20H1 or whatever you want to call it. So we, of course, have the next version of Windows in the release preview ring. That means it's really close to being released to everybody. And so I thought we'd revisit the top features of the new version of Windows 10 coming up in the next few weeks. So one of the first features is the fact that Cortana is now totally free and totally an app on its own. For a lot of times, for a, for a few years, you know, the um, features were, or Cortana actually was kind of people complaining about the fact that, you know, search Cortana were kind of all stuck together. And it made kind of people a little crazy. So now they actually have separated Cortana and Search last year. And that was nice. But now they went a step even further. It's now its own app that is updated through the Microsoft Store. And of course, that also means that it's a standalone that you can now, you know, before you couldn't do anything, move the window or expand. Now you can actually take the Cortana app and expand it you know, resize it, do whatever you want, have it full screen, have it as a very small app. It all is now in a little window that you can move around. And uh, this is, of course, a step further. And the reason why is because Microsoft is, of course, uh, rebranding, kind of reworking Cortana to do other stuff. It started out as this would be your, ex your assistant in Windows. But it can compete with, you know, Google Assistant and Alexa on the um, Amazon side of things. So basically what happens is they are and they were thinking of how can we change this? How can we have this in a different way, use it in a different way and still keep Cortana? So they still have the commitment to keep Cortana working, but it's now more of a productivity app. So that means its skills have shifted more to helping you out. It's capable now of actually interacting with emails. It's capable a, a lot more than before. It, it could before, but this now, this time, it's uh, even more uh, interactive with email. It can actually, if you use Teams, can help you out with that. It is um, reworked for productivity and will be actually updated and have more and more skills coming up for helping you out, kind of the modern Clippy, but without the annoying side of Clippy. So this is something that is, of course, uh, interesting. One of the things also is that now it focuses on you don't have to necessarily ask commands by vocal commands. A lot of it was vocal before. They were kind of telling you, you know, talk to Cortana. Now you can actually uh, text input Cortana, which means that, you know, you don't have to uh, talk to it with voice. So, uh, you know, uh, what is the weather? For example, um, you can type in rather than just have, you know, uh, vocal commands, which is nice and um, a different way of interacting with it. So uh, that also means that if, you know, it's an app. So a little hint here, if you use CCleaner that can actually uninstall apps that don't have the uninstall button, well, it seems that you can probably uninstall Cortana from there. So uh, it's own app, it's different, and it is uh, focused and changing. And of course, uh, all of this is the uh, new way of having that Cortana uh, interact with you, and it's a different um, options, different options that uh, can uh, slowly improve over time, especially on the workflow. Uh, it will integrate also more with Office and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.